Great news, team. We've been awarded a project on 48-volt application. Choosing the right MOSFET for this project can help us deliver top results and stay competitive. Easy. We can do a quick check via the MOSFET database. A 48 voltage system typically requires MOSFETs rated for an operating range up to 80 volts or its maximum limit of 100 volts. We should select a MOSFET with a higher current rating than the top of the peak current required for application by also taking into account safety margins for good reliability. Wait a minute, but manufacturers have different ways of defining current rating parameters in data sheets. In fact, there's no industry standard. You're right, the current rating parameters can be misleading. Some manufacturers define the current rating value as the maximum current capability of the silicone with the assumption that the device is mounted under ideal heat sink conditions. There are package limitations for the device as well. Let me show you. This is a D2-pack semiconductor package with a chip that can carry up to 425 amps at room temperature. But Due to wire bonding limitations, the maximum current rating is limited to 180 ampere direct current. The temperature conditions to define maximum current carrying capability of bonding wires also vary across manufacturers and can lead to overstated capability even for the same device. That's a good point. The big question is which packaging technology do we adopt? Most application requirements are driving MOSFETs into the sub-ohmic region of operations. Perhaps the most important breakthrough is the innovation of the leadless package. But how do leaded and leadless package interconnects compare? Here's how. A leaded package typically relies on conventional wire bonding, while the leadless package utilizes copper clip bonding technology. A solid copper bridge is attached to the top of the chip and replaces multiple bonded wires. Let's take a closer look at the SS08 package by Infineon, which comes with copper clip technology. Take this example. This silicone chip carries up to 290 amps, estimated using drain source on resistance and the thermal impedance between junction to case. The copper clip has a larger contact area than wire bonding, and this offers higher current carrying capability and performance. The device can achieve more than two times current carrying capability with the copper clip compared to the D2-pack package. But there's another physical limitation to consider the electromigration current density limits. That's true. This is a growing reliability issue, especially in applications where unidirectional high current flow is used, such as battery switch. Electromigration occurs when the momentum of moving electrons is transferred to a nearby atom. It causes poor joints and voids in the soldering, which undermine the ability to dissipate heat and decrease the reliability of the device. To prevent damage from electromigration effects, it is essential to limit the current density. That's why the SS08 package makes use of fused lead systems. It allows for almost twice the soldering area compared to other manufacturers. Here's everything at a glance. Selecting the right MOSFET can help you build a more robust and reliable system, which in turn makes the overall system more cost competitive. That's why we choose Infineon. It defines the current rating of MOSFETs with all of these considerations in mind.